Well, good morning. My name is Royal, and I am in my living room in Hearst, Texas, right before sunrise with my cup of coffee to do my devotional first thing in the morning. It gets my day started off right. And, and the way I do that is I pray the scriptures. I, I look at it. It helps me learn to talk to God and, and do what God wants me to do. So I hope you're here to do that with me. I do this Monday through Friday. Uh, it'll be here every morning for you. And um, today, I'm, this week, we're talking about new since it's 2017. It's New Year. We're talking about being new. And today, we're going to talk about a new commandment straight from the word from the mouth of Jesus. But before we start that, let me start off with my template of the Lord's Prayer. It helps us, excuse me, get our minds uh, and hearts ready for each of us individually to hear what God would want us to hear. So our Father in heaven, may we keep your name holy today above every other name. May we focus on serving you first above everything else. Would you give us what we need to be who you want us to be? Father God, would you forgive me of my sins and point out the sins I need to ask forgiveness for? Uh, may we forgive those who hurt us so that we're better and not bitter. Um, would you protect us from the temptations and the negative influences, Lord, in our lives? And today we'll give you glory for everything that happens, good or bad, good or bad, because we know you want it, it to be make us the best we can possibly be. We thank you for that. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. So today I'm looking in John 13, 34, and 35. This is actually, if your Bible's a red-letter Bible, this is something Jesus says. This is a direct commandment from Jesus, as a matter of fact. It even says in the first verse. So talking about new for this week or this year, and it's uh, Wednesday, the middle of the week. Here we go. Verse 34. So now, Jesus says... I am giving you a new commandment. Wow. Don't we have enough commandments? <laughs> I'm giving you a new commandment. This one's great. This one's great. Love each other. Who? Love each other. Just as I have loved you, you should love each other. Now, a lot of people kind of look at love as a suggestion. You know, if I want my life to be better and the world's going to be better, I, I probably ought to love more people. But no, if you're a Christian, if you're a Christ follower, if you're not, this doesn't apply to you. It would be good for your life, but you're commanded to love. And we're commanded to love the way Jesus loved, sacrificially, not just this puny surface level love. We're commanded to sacrificially love. He says, your love for one another will prove to the world that you are my disciples. So there you go. If, if, if you were to get up every day and ask yourself, Lord, am I being a good follower of yours today? Am I being a good disciple? Am I trying to be more like you? Then you'd have to ask yourself, am I loving? Am I loving others? Am I loving other Christians? Am I loving people that I work with? Am I loving my wife or, or husband? Am I being who I need to be in the love area, the sacrificial love area, the kind that Jesus showed us how to do? Isn't that awesome? That's, your, that's a litmus test. That's how you'll know you're my disciples. They'll look at the church and they'll go, hey, these people love each other. They must really be Jesus' disciples. We need that right now, don't we? All right, dear Heavenly Father, here's my prayer for today. Thank you for loving me sacrificially. You have shown me what true love is, so I have no excuse. I will obey your command to love people the way you love me. People will see my love for others, and they will know that I am your disciple. That's my prayer for you. Uh, that's my prayer for me. Thank you for joining me today. I'll be back tomorrow, Thursday. Uh, if you um, uh, leave some comments and I'll reply or pass this on to someone else who needs encouragement. I hope it is encouraging for you. That's, that's, I do it not just for me. I do it for you as well. But in the meantime, I'll uh, see you tomorrow. The good Lord willing, the creek don't rise. 
But until then, remember to love God and love people. You can change the world, and it will start with you.